Since its beginning in 1920, the Aggie BSU has had a rich heritage of producing men and women who make all the difference in the world for the sake of Jesus Christ. Many of you are those people. Through the years, uh, you've been faithful churchmen, you've been witnesses, you've been missionaries around the world, and it's all because of a work that God began in your life many, many years ago as a college student at Texas a and One of the purposes of the Former Students Association is to encourage you, to encourage you to continue to live on the cutting edge and continue to let God have His way in your life that you might be witnesses for him all over this state of Texas, all over the United States, and all over our world. One of my goals that I pray I see before I die is that there's an Aggie missionary in every single country of the world. And I really believe that that will happen. Let me encourage you. Live for Christ where God plants you right now. Be strong in the Lord then. Let your witness go out. Support your church. Love your family. Most of all, let Jesus Christ be first in your life. For over 70 years, God has used the ministry of the Baptist Student Union to encourage the hearts of Aggies. The faces have changed, but the testimonies remain the same. I know from the first day that I got here that I was challenged by, mostly by the people's lives. And I'd go to noon Bible study especially and, and receive a lot of challenge from our director, Mike Graham, and he'd bring um, the Word of God personally to our lives and really apply it. And then. I can't really, it's funny because you can't remember the words that were said, but I know what I remember the most is the people and just watching them live for Christ and watching their commitment. And that really inspired me to, to find out who Christ was and to try to get to know him and to love him and to be like him. In my junior year, uh, I got onto the executive council as worship coordinator and uh, just got to have great Bible studies on Thursday nights and uh, helped some other guys learn how to lead praise and worship, helped them learn how what it means to praise God, and not only in song, but just with their lives, how to give their lives as a, as, as a worship to God. And this year, I'm kind of coordinating the worship, and I'm not on the exec council, because uh, through BSU, I've, God's provided me with my own ministry outside of school work, and so when I can, I help coordinate the worship leaders at BSU. I just love it. It's just such a great place for me to come and get encouraged every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon Bible study. does a lot for me, and just a time for me to sit back and just really thank the Lord for the day and for the week and how he's going to use me at a &M. It's just wonderful. The Baptist Student Union, when I was a fish, that pretty much pulled me through the, the, the core. With fish care groups and uh, the noon Bible study, I just had to get away from the, the core life as much as I could. So that was an immediate escape. And, and church was also just so I was there anytime the doors were open. But as I, I grew, it, it became more than an escape and it became a necessity. Hello, Ags. It's good to see you and let you be on campus with us for a few minutes on this video. We stand here by the statue of Saul Ross. I realize that there's such a tremendous potential in the city of college students like this, nearly 42,000 strong at this time. There are a lot of things that you can do as you remember back to your college days more than coming back to football games or uh, thinking with fond memories of the neat days in BSU. But you can begin to really pray for the things that God would like to do on this campus, to have a vision of what could happen if the Lord could do all the things that he wanted to do on this great university campus. I think there are enough people here on this campus that are born-again Christians that they could go literally all over the world, as some of you already have. It's important that you pray. It's important that you, uh, from time to time, come back and, and have a witness to the students that are here learning and their professions to show what can happen as you're an effective professional, as many of you are. 
And then it's important that as you have resources, that you're able to, from time to time, think of the ministry needs here of the BSU and the potential of working with the several hundreds of students that they work with on a continuing weekly basis. When I was a freshman in 1990, um, I was asked to go to BSU by a good friend of mine. And on September 17th, 1990, I accepted the Lord there. And since then, it's meant the world. It's, um, it's enabled me to grow in my relationship and it's challenged me. The first time I went to the BSU, I just really felt Jesus there. And I was not a Christian when I went the first time. And, and it really opened my eyes and opened my heart to finally receive him. And I received him last February. And ever since, I've been going to BSU, and it just, I get a sense of being with him when I'm there. And Hi, I'm Kevin Eckert, and I'm on staff at the BSU through Faith Project Number 1. Faith Project Number 1 was made possible because of donations and gifts and prayers of the former students of Texas A&M BSU. And I just want to extend my appreciation to you for making this job possible for me, a, a chance to really share what God's love and uh, his sacrifice for me has meant. And so I want to thank you for that. I just want to share with you that even though you're not here in person, your prayers and your blessings and your resources very much are here and a part of every ministry we do. And we want to thank you for that and ask for more of your prayers and more of your help and support in any way that you can. Thank you personally for allowing me to be able to be here on staff at the BSU. It was not until my senior year that I got very active in the BSU. I'd been class president and was a cadet colonel in, in the Corps. But it was not until the senior year that I really received the kind of spiritual fulfillment that I should have had all four years. And uh, although this school has richly blessed me, the contact with the BSU uh, in 1974, 1975 has been a, has had a tremendous impact on my life. In terms of eternity, the time that I spent here was far more important than the time I spent in the classroom, although both were important. And I think about that and I, I think to myself, uh, what a great privilege it would be to be able to help others to experience that same uh, experience while they are students at Texas A&M. And that's really what we're about in our BSU uh, Alumni Association. Uh, we have a very unique purpose and a, a wonderful ministry that we can support and that we can, can fulfill. Uh, now let me help you help remind you of our goal that we have in this alumni association. I think our first goal is to, to help you, the, the alumni, to um, walk where you are, to walk in the faith, to to be involved in your local church and to be close to the Lord. We can do that through our uh, spring retreats and our other meetings that we have, our newsletters, and just the general encouragement that we would all receive by being together. We want to encourage you in your walk wherever you are. I think a second goal that we have is to encourage and ask you to pray for this BSU. Uh, what a wonderful ministry it is and something that's worthy of your prayers. And related to that would be when you come back on campus to come by and see the BSU, stay involved, don't lose touch with, with the BSU. And then I think thirdly, our, our goal that we have in this association would be uh, for you to contribute your financial resources as the Lord enables and as the Lord would lead you to do that. Uh, we have some 800 or more families that have been identified and that we are in communication with that are alumni uh, of this BSU. And just think, if we had each of those 800 families, if they could each just contribute $36 a month for the next three years, we could raise over a million dollars for the BSU. That could be placed in an endowment and could produce $60,000 a year until the Lord comes. And what a wonderful way to, to use our own resources in a, in a great ministry. And so as I think back on my time, I want to encourage and even request 
that you seriously consider your involvement in this BSU Alumni Association. To think that you could maybe have influence over a handful of students and allow them the same experience that you had, I think would be something worthy of, of all of our uh, time and our, our resources. And so let me encourage you to do that. And what a great way to be a participant here within the, the ministry of Texas A&M University. I'm a diehard Aggie, but more than that, I'm a diehard lover of the Lord. And since BSU is where I grew up, I know that I want to put back my time and my money and, um, and just my experiences when I get out and just come back to share those with other people and, and encourage them to follow the Lord.